My name is Dave Hopla, uh, shooting coach. I was with the Pistons, the Knicks, the Raptors, Wizards, jumped all over in the NBA. And uh, this is my first experience with the USA basketball. Samson uh, invited me because I was with Samson in Detroit and he asked if I'd come in and work with the guys on their shooting because, as you can tell, the kids are very athletic but struggle a little with shooting the basketball. Hey, I mean, he's a great dude. Uh, you know, he can really shoot it and he, know, he knows a lot about um, guys' jump shots. So. He was able to just work with me a little bit and help me a, a little bit with my jump shot. Best shooters that, that I worked with was Ray Allen. Uh, you know, actually Ray is like, uh, you know, all-time leading three-point shooter. I think Steph's got a chance if he stays healthy that he'll surpass that. But uh, Ray Allen, uh, great shooter, always wanting to get better. Kobe's the best player I've ever worked out. I mean, Kobe be in the gym first thing in the morning, never wait. You know, he's, uh, you have to wait on him. He's always early and just the unbelievable work ethic that he had. Uh, I've been really impressed with the big fella, uh, what's his, Wiseman? James Wiseman. Wiseman, Wiseman. And, uh, you know, as a big guy, he's got a really nice touch as a lefty and everything. And, and uh, as far as the guards, Jeremy Roach shoots the ball very well, number 66. And, uh, but a lot of guys have been working, working hard on it. Uh, you know, Kent Cameron's been working. He was in here actually yesterday shooting, you know, getting extra work in. And, and uh, you know, he's got a chance to be a very special player with his size and his uh, ability and stuff. So if he really gets a jump shot down pat, he'll be, you know, very, very special. That's really good. I mean, he has a lot of good things, like good tips on my shot to help me improve. So, I mean, I really appreciate it. It helped me. So, I mean, I look forward to working with him. Well, yeah, uh, one of the games we played is uh, from the, uh, I call it the, the free shot line. I don't call it a free throw because I don't want guys throwing the ball and I don't call it a foul line because I don't like anything that's foul. You have five shots and you have to bank one in, you have to hit the back of the rim on one, front of the rim and you have to switch one. And you're allowed, you can have one miss but you have to complete the cycle on that. That was one of the games we did. The other game was uh, six swishes. You start in front of the basket, you have to swish it to move on to the middle of the paint, and then it's uh, from the free shot line, top of the key, before the international three. And then. So every time you swish it, you move a spot. Uh, I've been practicing a lot. I mean, I didn't learn to shoot the basketball correctly until I was 16. Uh, you got to, you know, perfect practice makes perfect, but the main ingredient is being a great shooter is to have your elbow get underneath the ball in a straight line. Even if the basket's where you're at and I'm facing this way, I still can make it because the ball, my elbow's there. Once my elbow's out, which most players have problems with, now the shot line is all out of alignment. Uh, he's got, you know, he's got to get his elbow when I spoke to him. He has a tendency to have his elbow out. He also has a tendency to have a twisted toe. So with him being a left-handed, Bander, his toes twisted to the left. Now, when he has the basketball, the only place he's gonna be able to beat his man is to the right. And he loves to go left. So, I mean, once he starts playing against people that are as good as him physically, and they're gonna be forcing, he's gotta develop, you know, get better with his right hand. Uh, I don't think he's gonna, I think an okay shooter, but he's a great passer. What he does, others don't do, I mean. He reminds me of his game a lot of Jason Kidd, you know, except Jason at least didn't have a shot over on the side of his head. But but I think, you know, he'll, he'll work hard. I heard he's very coachable. I spoke to Miles Simon, who's a friend of mine during summer league, and he says he's coachable. But, you know, I don't know, uh, watching him play the other night in the exhibition game, they, I don't know if anyone's done anything with his shot. He's still, still over. That I don't know. I think they'll probably let him go this year and see how he does with it. And if he's, you know, okay or decent with it, I think they'll let him go. And if it's if it's bad, then I think they'll probably say, you know, we gotta we gotta reconstruct. But what he can do, others can't do. His feel of the game, his you know, his court vision, and uh, it's just you know, people love to play with him because he passes the ball. Which shoulder turn with shot fake? Hey, get that? Did you get that on film?